Alright, I'm gonna explain the plot of every JoJo part while playing right now. Okay, so, in part one, there's Johnny, Jonathan Joestar. And he's just chilling with his dad, George Joestar, and his dead mom. And the first few seconds, I'm just gonna go somewhere else. In the first few seconds of the first episode, the carriage crashes. And, um, George survives, but the mom does not. And then George is saved by this guy named Dario Brando. Who then is like, George is like, you saved my life, what can I do to repay you? And he gives him like an IOU, pretty much. And then Dario goes back to his life in poverty with his son Dio. And then George, and you know, he's just a, he's a very rich man. And then... So then, by twist of fate, Dario dies, and then his D Dio is sent to live with Jonathan and George. And Dio is like, you know what, I'm just gonna, this is my, this is my time. This is my time to shine. So, he decides, you know what, I'm just going to mess up John John uh, Jonathan's life. And he's like, you know what, yeah. So then, first few seconds at the Joestar Mansion, he knees John Jonathan's dog, uh, Danny, in the face. He's like, oh, what, he surprised me. That's why I need him in the face. And Jonathan's like, alright, it's cool. So then, they're... They just have a bunch of stuff like that. Jonathan starts to date this one girl named Arena Pendleton. Yeah, that's good. But then Dio kisses Arena on the mouth. And she's like, he's like, your first kiss was supposed to be Jonathan. But it was actually, it was me, Dio. And then, um... Yeah, you know, seven years pass. They're playing rugby. It looks as if, you know, everything's all well and good. But shocker, Dio still hates Jonathan and vice versa. And then George gets sick. And Dio tries to poison him, but Jonathan's like, hey, no. And then Jonathan goes to this one, I think it's called, like, Ogre Street or something like that. And then he meets, uh, Robert EO Speedwagon, and they become buds. And then, you know, Speedwagon just plays a side character. And then they go back to the Joestar, I think it's at the Joestar Mansion, yeah. Where the authorities come, and they're like, you know what, we're here to arrest you, Dio, because we've heard that you're, you know, just creating trouble. And, uh... How do you know it's me? So, okay. So, you know, John, George is sick, and then... So he's, okay, I forgot to tell you this. So, in the first few seconds where the carriage crashes, um, the, the stone mask is shown. And then, so then Dio comes in possession of that stone mask. He does, like, a little bit of research on it, and then he finds out that if you pour your blood on it, or just, yeah, just pour blood on it, it can make you, it's like, the, it can turn you into a vampire. So what he does is he kills George, uses his blood, and then makes, and then puts the mask on. And then it appears as if he, and then he, like, flies out, because then the cops shoot him. And it appears as if he dies by flying out the window and, you know, you know, just dying of impact. But no, he comes back. And, uh, he's a vampire. And then they fight. I feel like I'm missing, I haven't watched part one in a while. And then they fight, and then, you know, the George, the George I mentioned burns down, and then Dio escapes. They, 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 they fight, and like, a lot of stuff happens. Speedwagon's like, ah, oh, blah, blah, blah. He, like, com he's basically, like, a, a commentator kind of guy. And then, um, you know, Jonathan is injured. He starts to become, like, rejuvenated and healed by Arena. And, um, I think he's not doing a play-by-play, -play, like, every episode. He's healed, all that, and then he encounters this guy named, um, William Zappelli. He's a guy in, like, a cool kind of hat with checkers on it. And he teaches this thing called Hamo, which is, um, this breathing energy that, like, it looks like, it looks like yellow electricity around your hands, and you can use it in, like, a number of ways. So, you know, but it's, it's mostly good against helping vamp, because it's, it's sunlight on the planet, you pretty much. And it, it goes with your blood and all that, so you need your blood to use it and all that. So then, um, he teaches him that. Jonathan becomes all buff. Well, he was buff on the time skip, but you know, he just uses the buff to do his advantage. He learns all that, and then he decides to have like a crusade onto Dio. And it's pretty cool. Speedwagon's still commentating all that. He's like just a little, just a side character guy. And then eventually they make they make their way to um. I trust my control. They make their way to Dio's. Oh shoot. Make the way to Dio's mansion, where Dio's just chilling there with a bunch of gross little. Oh wait, no, I forgot. So this is chaotic. 
So they fight these guys, Blueford and um Buford and I think his name is like Taurus or something. So Bu it's Buford, it's Buford. Buford has long hair, his hair powers, and then Taurus is just a strong guy. And then, you know, Buford is a very honorable guy. And then him and Jonathan have a neat neat fight. It's like underwater. He uses like his homo and like that. And then he gives him this sword called the it like says like luck and pluck. And then, you know, he's like he's a very honorable man. Jonathan respects him. But then Taurus shows up and he's like, Yeah, nah, I'm not I'm not I'm not with that crowd. I'm not cool like Buford, I'm just a jerk. And then they start to fight. Willem Sapelli gets himself in a in a pickle and then he sacrifices himself for Jonathan and he like transfers his hormone energy to Jonathan so then he has the power of him and um Jonathan and then Jonathan's like I gotta uh avenge him so then they, then they march on the Dio's mansion and they encounter um Ton Petty who was Wheeling Zapelli's hormone master and um Dyer and Straitzo like Dyer Straits and they're really powerful hormone users apparently and then they go to the mansion Dude, be quiet. And then... Oh no. <laughs> okay, so, what was, where was I? Um... Yeah, they go to the Deal's Mansion with the new strong Hanmon users and get off me. Ah, oh, of course, I got pickaxe. Okay, what was I saying? Go to the Deal's Mansion. Dire, Straits, Straits though, and um... Dire Straits and Tom Petty. They go there, chillin'. They encounter Dio, he's like, hey, what's up? And then Dire decides to, you know, be, do the first blow. And he uses his attack called Thunder Cross with Attack, where he goes up for an easy, it, it looks like he's gonna be like an easy, an easily defended attack. But then he, he shreds it, he like, he goes for a kick, his legs spread. <laughs> and then Dio grabs him. But then Dire is like in the air, and he has like his arms on a cross, and he goes down with a powerful. Come on attack and just boom! Thunder cross blood attack, but then Dio turns him to ice and kills him. And then they decide to fight all that. A bunch of zombies come up, like the vampires and uh, vampire zombies. And then Straitzo is fighting all them. Tom Petty's fighting all them. So is just chilling in the corner, just talking. And then Jonathan and Dio fight. He gets a Hamon sword, slices him in half, cuts his head off. You know, looks as if he's dead and all that. And they're like, oh wow, Dio's dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then, it's Jonathan and Arena's honeymoon. They're chilling on the boat, and then Dio's like, what up? And I'm back. And then he, um, he kills Jonathan. And he's just a head. And yeah, that's, that's a really horribly described part one. <sighs> but Arena survives in a, in a coffin thing with a little baby at part two.